Hey, what's going on ladies and gents we have the Raiden shogun banner as well as kokubi here she is finally in the game once again on their reruns as we can see we have uh Jinyan, we have kujo sarah as well as bennett on this banner it's a pretty decent banner but this banner is going to be a really easy one to skip it's not really that great i wouldn't recommend you guys go for this unless you're going for you know both the weapons then maybe you should try to get these uh weapons but let us go into the little test run here and we're going to try out kokumi as well as the riding shogun once more all right here we go we got the standard stuff on the riding shogun obviously we got the engulfing lightning all level 80 with the emblem of server fate that we were pretty used to this by now and i'll, I'll continue to say this like again and again and again Ryan Shogun is such an excellent character. I would highly suggest you guys actually summon for her if you do not have her currently in your account. And uh, yeah, the banner is not that bad. So you will actually benefit a lot no matter what. And <laughs> she's a really fun character to play with. So I do highly suggest you guys do get this character if you have the means to do so. Um, she synergizes with so many teams. She's an excellent, you know, carry as well. You can really dish out a lot of damage and support with you know all you know the burst damages as well as the energy recharge she helps with a bunch of stuff on the team definitely an excellent character all right now we're test running kokumi all righty let's see here kokumi was initially just a character that nobody wanted but once people actually started using her and they figured out teams for her uh people started realizing her value and they saw her value not just because she has like zero crit rate right uh, or negative crit rate rather um but yeah they saw her value how she fits into teams how she can heal you how she can deal the damage that she needs to deal and uh yeah that that really made her a highly picked character in the spiral abyss so I highly, I actually recommend Kokomi. Now we are on my Asia account. So I don't exactly have like a million and one primary gems on this account. But we do have a little bit enough for one multi here. And maybe we could get really lucky. I am going to be summoning on Kokomi's banner. Because I do not have Kokomi on any of my accounts. So I'm really hoping maybe I can get Kokomi here. If I do, I can make like a showcase. I can really go all out with the content if i do manage to get her in this temple but if i don't you know what it's fine maybe i'll get a bennett you know constellation for bennett is really cool anyway and i don't really get a five star but that's okay <laughs> i got a flute oh no because that's a little bit saddening and uh okay we do have two more summons we can get here yep two more and let's see if we can get a little bit lucky here and perhaps get five star oh four star oh i got got really excited we got bennett okay we got a constellation for bennett this means that we also get another uh summon there as well here we go get one in there that's a three star expected and here is our final summon right there another three star weapon and we're looking pretty... I mean, that's pretty much it. Now, for the weapon banner, don't forget to also select the weapon that you want if you are going to be summoning on this. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I really like both of the characters that are on the banners currently. And I highly suggest that you guys actually summon for these if you haven't already. And yeah, that's going to be it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, consider liking this video as well as subscribing to the channel as well. I'll see you guys in the next video very soon. Goodbye.